Transmission first. in there as well. Awesome. What's all in there? Starter, alternator, and this funny little plate the Ford uses that oh, yeah. is usually missing. And he said he got me some bolts, which is wicked. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Usually all this stuff is missing. Yeah. Looks pretty clean. Wow. Am I high enough? You gotcha. All right about the wheels. Hopefully you can push it in a little more to make room for the panties, Andy. You want, want me to push it? Yeah, if you can. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Hopefully it slides. Beautiful. Keep her coming. Keep it. Okay. Good. Should be good. Okay. Nice and clean, though. Awesome. Oh, yeah. You never know, right? Well, Some of them are going to be an oil field truck that's got a little paint with it. I don't know. Six R eighty, right, Kyle? He must do this for a living or something. <laughs> Once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate all the extra. No This is a ring that goes uh, on the back of the crank, and there's a little pickup that counts these teeth, so the engine can know how fast it's turning, where it is in its rotation, and that's sort of a top dead center marker, the missing tooth. Stupid shim plate? Yeah. And you need that or it won't work? Well, yeah, it's a space. Starter, alternator, Flex plate. It's easier to do the swap if you get all those things.
once. Yeah, it just kind of popped open, eh? Yeah. Good. No fluid in it, eh? A little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, can you take that front screw out? Yep. Yeah. Do you want these? Well, I don't know much about transmissions, but. What do you think? Nice and clean. Nothing on the magnets. What's that little bits of stuff there? That's just... Little marks in the pan, I guess. Huh. Looks good. These magnets are all nice and clean. Very little stuff on it. Nice and clean. Mint. So we'll just have to... We'll get a new filtering gasket for it. Fill it up and call it... Yep, and then that's good enough. I'm not worried about any issues with this, so... Nice. So now just drive the El Camino out or what? You can either drive it out or probably best if you drive it out. Nice and slow. Here's that, whatever it is, timing wheel. And it hides back here on the end of the crank underneath the ring gear. And then it has that thing so you can't screw it up? Yeah, there's a locating sort of dowel built in here. Whatever, and it goes into that right there, so. Perfect. Well, it fits one way. That's in behind the uh, right now. We'll put these on with Loctite. Okay, yeah. So, Loctite in these. Because you won't be able to get at them again. Is there a reason that are the nuts shaped like that or? They got bigger heads. This is just because there's a lot of torque that goes through this. Oh yeah. The torque converter flies on here. It's just a way to just to read the forces, loads. And then we'll Google the uh, torque specs for these. Good and tight. Nice and snug. What 177 inch pounds plus 60 degrees. Figure out the sixty degree part. 
Less than 90. Probably there, eh? What's your predictions? It's gonna be good? It's gonna be good, but I need a scooter. Pry bar? Yeah. I must have some sort of assembly uh, holder uppers or something in there. A holder up for six thousand. I think it could be much cleaner. I don't know. No. Looks good, eh? Nice and clean. Don't see any sludge. Pan is clean. Hope it wasn't a high idle one then? I wouldn't think so by looking at it. This is supposed to be machined like that? Yep. Yeah. And then I see they put silicones here in the corners. I have to at least okay. silicone that. Alright. Okay. Is how the coil packs come out? I don't know. Try Googling it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's your spark plug down there, Sandy. Doesn't look messed up or anything? Nope. So. Perfect engine. <laughs> Ford probably has some dumb tool to do that. Probably. And then I think they do to install all these seals and stuff too. Sensors gotta come out or one way to find out. Break stuff. It's these seals in here that are holding it 
down seals the oil inside, but oh. I think I just gotta pull harder if I get the right tool here. Pretty, very clean. You're happy with that? I am happy. The oil cover is nice and clean. Mint. Absolutely. There's both the cams, eh? There. Mm -hmm. Don't need that. Looks like I want to cut that. What's that? Block heater cord. Ew. Need a new one of them. One round pigtail left here. And that's the last of the wiring harnesses. <laughs>